the language of the film is cinema. But, um, uh, I see it as a kind of science fiction with more fiction than science. Uh, it's a world not too far from our, our world. Um, but where I try to work with could see in you know, a short time in one day, you could see the try to uh, tell about the experience of being alive in, in this world. So cinema is language, but it's not about cinema. And that I'm not especially interested in actors, the uh, but in, for this film it was um, to me the film about as I said about experience. But we still want to experience stuff uh, about you know, action. So, usually with an actor, it made things possible. And also, as I said, to make it in one day, I invented this job that doesn't exist of going from one night to the other, traveling from one night to the other. Uh, if I wanted to make the same film, I would say with, with the book, Butcher, um, you know, I would have. You know, a butcher that would be uh, tired of being himself and wanting to reinvent himself, I would need a, you know, a whole narrative with uh, you know, the days, days passed and things happened to him. And I don't know how to do that. So I created this kind of science fiction world of people as actors. I was able to condense the experiences. A few years before I did a film in Tokyo, it was a short film, and I shot it with Crystal and Digital. I had no choice. So I had to give up the film, the uh, celluloid. Um, which, of course, is sad, but you know, um, that's how you live. You have to bomb and stuff all the time. And then you will survive. So that, uh, not against digital, just that it was imposed on us. For bad reasons, and it's not very, uh, it's still very ugly in the way you have to deal with. But I have to do that. It's a miracle that cinema exists. It's a miracle it was invented. Um, and the power, the primitive power of cinema, had to deal with this huge machine with cameras at the time. I still think. And when a camera would follow a man in the movie, in the movie well now film, you had the feeling that it was God watching him. You know, if you have the same sh shot today on YouTube made by anyone today, you won't have this feeling. But that's okay. You said that it always has to reinvent itself to find that power again. In the last 20 years, I've tried to make projects, all my projects were put away from France and not in front French. But of all these films, I've only made one short film in Tokyo. Um, so, the kind of hate of Paris. But when I couldn't make my other films, I tried to make, I knew it. To make it done fast, I would have to shoot in Paris with the Louis Levant. I like this woman a lot, Edith Scott, who plays the driver. And I, I filmed her in, 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 in Lovers on the Bridge like 20 years ago. But she was cut at the editing down there, only her hands and hair left. So I owed her a film. And that's when I thought of her, for the driver. You see, she's a very poetic person. Um, and actually, I only thought of eyes well, the place at the end of the shoot where I decided to make that mask, not as a reference, but that it, it felt um, right.